Hi guys. So yeah, you're right. It's called the Grandis series. And this is a good example of maths being really weird sometimes. That is not always 1 plus 1 equals 2. And this is one way to prove that that is so. Um, so just now I said that it's 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. And that if it went on forever and ever, it really depends on where you stop counting, isn't it? So if you count, stop counting at a negative 1, then the answer will be 0, isn't it? 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1, it's, so it's, it'll be 0. But if you end up counting at 1, at the plus 1, the answer will be 1. So the first two answers you can get out of this series of, of numbers that you just continue is either 1 or 0. You can get either one and either one is correct okay so how do I get that half I was telling you that you can also get the answer half from this now I'm, I know what you're thinking you're thinking that teacher if you add 1 minus 1 you either get a 0 or you either get a 1 you cannot get half from it isn't it but wait you you can watch this Let's say I have... I'll get, I'll get a different pen. Let's just call this whole thing S. Okay? So, this is S. And S could either be 1 or 0. Is, isn't it? That's what, that's what we said. That's what we, we found out. That if we, It really depends on where we stop counting. So, S can either be 1 or at the same time, it could also be zero. Now, I'm not saying either or zero. I'm saying that it's one and zero at the same time. That's the other weird thing about this, this series, okay? So, if you had, let's say, if I was to just do one minus s, so what I would do, what would happen is I would get one minus this whole thing. We said s is this thing, isn't it? So, one minus s is one minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 da, da, da. okay is it is it correct okay so let's open the bracket now so if I open a bracket you know that this this has to multiply with each number here each each number right so this will become 1 and if we open the bracket the first one become minus 1 minus times minus 1 is plus 1 Minus times my, uh, plus 1 is minus 1, and then it becomes plus 1, and then minus 1, and plus 1, and so forth. Isn't it? But look at what has happened. Isn't this the same as this? 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So isn't this also the same as S? So now I've got this equation, 1 minus s is s. This whole thing is s, isn't it? But I wanted 1 minus s. But when I did 1 minus s, my answer came out to be s. So 1 minus s is s. So if I was to simplify this, then I would get 1 equals to s plus s. You bring this ne negative s over to this side, it becomes plus s, isn't it? So now equals to 1 equals to 2s, right? So if I was to simplify it some more, so I'm going to write it up here again. 1 equals to 2s, so s equals to 1 over 2. There. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is it can be 1 or 0 or half. Or it can be all three at the same time. Yeah, you guys think about it.